Yo, what's going on guys, it's Reese, and uh, today I've got a Sunny Vegas tutorial for you guys. I haven't made a tutorial in a long time, so I thought just I'd make one. Um, so, this one is on the uh, Zumpan Crop effect, the Smooth Transitions, the Flow Transitions. There's a lot of names for them, but no one really knows the correct term to use, I guess. So... This is sort of what it is, it's just the whole way through Pi. It's just one of my edits. It's really bad at the actually. It's just sweeping from each corner to corner, as you can see. Like that. And it's sort of a transition, like the clip just sort of switches and you don't really notice. But yeah, it's super clean effect to use. So I'm going to teach you how to do it right now. So load in your little cinematics, your smooths, as they're actually called. If you're using PC clips, if you don't have any of these, you can find them on this channel called Clip Hive. It's a great channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, it, it looks like an IRL channel, but it's really not. It is, but it's not. They have Call J Player Clip Pack. Gaming, gaming footage to edit. If you go in this playlist, you should find some PC clips and stuff like that. There's some. I've seen some there now. Yeah, called for demo. Um, or you can just search up like uh, frag clips with smoothies, and you'll get some. Uh, most of these are like. Not Call of Duty, but yeah, they're good for editing. So, like for the day, let's get straight on into it. So, get your clips in, voice crack. I hate that. So, um, first step to doing this is check that you have disabled resample. So, right click, go to switches, and disable resample. Then, click on your first clip, right click, and insert slash remove envelope open that and go into velocity so velocity is just basically just this this green line that goes across your clip um, and you can drag it up to speed it up or you can drag it down to even reverse it and stuff like that so we're gonna be using this on our clips so um, click on like the first quarter which is there and like the second start of the third quarter it's like there click anywhere after that and just drag it to the end and you'll you get these squares so um drag your first square all the way to the top and drag your last square all the way to the top um click your sec right click your second square and click set two you're gonna want to write in three <coughs> Excuse me. And do the same with the, the second, the third clip even. Set to 3%. Alright, so now you'll see these little like ramps. You're gonna wanna make them like a quarter pipe for a skateboard or scooter BMX, whatever. And you're gonna make it look like a quarter a uh, half pipe even. Um so a quarter pipe on each side, so you're gonna go fast fast fade. And then slow fade. There you go, you've got your quarter pipe now. <coughs> and um I think this will work. Um well obviously it worked for the first clip, but I think you can just copy. Go in your second clip and paste event attributes and you won't have to do that, you can just reposition the squares however you need them. Like that. So as you can see that worked mind about there so now I'll pre-render this out in bad quality so that it'll actually pre-render all of it and show you guys what it looks like I'm pretty sure you guys can probably see right now it goes fast at the start and then slows down crap wait it sort of slows down in the middle but the last clip sort of messed up because it sort of went in reverse because I dragged that too far down. 
a little last square there. Don't know why it won't move, move. Alright, it won't, it won't go above that now, so I need to set it again. Minus 10, nope, 3. Set 2, 3. Okay, so that's fixed, and uh, I put my uh, thing on best again, so you guys can watch in good quality. So, now that part's done, we're going to do the zoom pan crop bit. So click on your first clip and go to the first frame and event pan crop or video a video event FX that's what it's actually called. But we're gonna go to the first frame and zoom in what using shift. My shift just won't work at the minute. Dunno why. Maybe it's control. Control and shift. Yeah right, control and shift. <coughs> And go to the smallest square you can get before it actually just disappears. So that's that one. So we'll go to a corner, uh, any corner you want, and then click here on your first velocity marker and click in this little, right click in this little square and click restore. Click on that air one, the third one, click restore again, and click on the last one. And just go to the opposite corner. And let me restore this a sec. Just go to the opposite corner that you were in last time. Doesn't really matter where you sort of position it, you can position it anywhere. <coughs> and it'll still look good. So, now as you can see, if I sort of run through this, it goes, it, open, it opens, stays open, and closes. Again, so that um, I'm gonna pre-render this out again using preview quarter. So as you can see, we've got that effect. Um, <coughs> on the first one. So now we're just gonna repeat it on the second one. We're not gonna paste the event attributes like last time, but. I'm just going to do it by hand. Oh my goodness. Okay, just go to the start. Um, well, for me, on, on smooths or frag clips, I actually can't uh, keyframe forward. I can only keyframe back. Okay, so now we'll do that whole process again. Don't know what's happened here actually. There's an extra two squares, but just dragged them up. So if I'm pan crop, first one. I'm actually gonna switch corners. I like. Oh my goodness. I like starting the second clip from where the se the first clip ended. So I'm starting it from this corner. So you get sort of like a right, left, right, left, right, left, right instead of left, right, left, right, left, right. So I'm gonna position this sort of so I can uh, uh, so I can see so I can click on that one Don't know what the heck keeps happening, okay. That'll do and then restore and then click on the second one. Restore. Click on the last. And go to the opposite corner. While holding shift and control. Okay. Should have worked. I think it did. So I will put a color correction on this um, real quick video effects I'm just going with one of the presets I made so chill don't know what this will look like ooh that's nasty but I'm gonna use it alright so that, look, that doesn't even look that bad just for a little over edit I guess 
Okay, so I'll pre render this out and show you guys in a sec. Preview quarter should be. Alright, so guys, this will look like. As he said, not running that smoothly, but. Yeah. This has been um, the flow transition tutorial. If you like this tutorial, you can hit the like button below. It only takes a couple of seconds, so. Hope you enjoyed guys, um, comment if you would like to see a colour correction tutorial on like how to like install magic bullet looks and stuff, and how to install colour corrections, I don't know, leave a comment below, uh, remember to subscribe, it's free for videos every Saturday, Most, mostly tutorials, I try to do more tutorials from now on, I've just got exams and stuff, so I haven't really had the time, but um, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys later, peace.